What I usually tell people when I'm thinking about breathing and FSHD, the first thing I say is breathing typically follows the disease. So unlike some of the diseases that I see where people can present to me with difficulty breathing as their first symptom, often the breathing becomes an issue in FSHD after people are becoming quite weak, in particular at the point where they're either having to use something like a wheelchair to help them get around or when their back muscles become very weak. And then I might screen them more regularly. Every time I see someone every year, I'll ask them questions designed to get at, are they having any trouble breathing? I'll ask them how comfortable they are if they're lying down, how rested they feel in the morning. And obviously, if anyone tells me something that would have me concerned about my, their breathing, then we'll go ahead and we'll do more testing to work it up.